Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Sam Mai aka The Real Late G, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy, Morty Superman White T and even Louise G and Z Gaming. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the flatbed inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod and don't forget to download the rollback flatbed script mod inside my description below. What this mod does, it actually interacts with the flatbed that is behind the truck. I will guide you guys through the end. I will show you guys what the mod does. Unfortunately, this mod does require game config. So I will leave game config inside my description below as well. So make sure you do download game config. Now once you have completed that process then all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you can see I have already installed my requirements so make sure you do install your requirements first before you do go ahead. Now all you got to do is go to your scripts folder, open up your scripts folder and as you can see all I got is my native UI. Dot .dll and dot .xml Make sure you do have the latest native UI files that's inside your script folder All you gotta do is open up your uh, your you know open up both extract folders okay because basically they both need to go to the same folder and now all you gotta do is open up this folder and now select all the files and folder that's inside there and drag it into your scripts folder. Now exit out of the, this folder. Now open up this extract folder and go inside the scripts folder and all you gotta do is select the flatbed folder that's inside there and drag it inside here. Now it's all together. Now all you gotta do next okay is go out, is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder go to your mods folder, go to update, go to time 64, go to DRC packs folder and then go back to your extract folder and now all you gotta do is select your flatbed uh, folder, this one over here and then drag it to your scripts folder then go back to your extract folder and now open up your readme.txt file and now all you gotta do okay is copy the code over here and where's the code over here copy this code okay and then exit out of your text file exit out of your extract folder go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder open up your open IV go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows this process will take a few seconds once your application is open, go to edit mode, select yes, go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, then scroll right down the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over it, right click and edit. Scroll right down to the bottom, then click to the, click to the side over there and press enter once and paste your code there. Save your code and double check to see if your code is saved. Double click and then scroll right down, down to the bottom and yes, it's saved. Exit out of your application 
and now the next thing you got to do is open up your GTA V config extract folder now inside that folder there will be a few files and folders all you got to do is open up your GTA V config scroll right down to the bottom to five times traffic and five times paired open up that folder select your game config.xml file and drag it inside your open my v but unfortunately i have already got got it there but i'm just going to replace it now exit out of your extract folder go to edit mode go to gta v exit out of your open iv right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game and we're back as trevor so as you can see i am in the game and my game didn't crash so I'm gonna go and come over here because it's much more room. Now, once you are inside the game, all you gotta do is press F3, and now you'll be opening up your your trainer. Uh, I highly recommend using your simple trainer. So go down to vehicle spawning, then go right down to the bottom to edit vehicle menu, and then now the first thing that you gotta do is spawn the flatbed. Now, as you can see, I do have the flatbed right there. So, the next thing you gotta do, okay, is on your keyboard, press your CTRL, which is control. Right there, see? And now the flatbed does go on the ground, but unfortunately, it is pretty slow. And as you can see, there is a green, greenish bubble there, so. I'm gonna just go forward a bit and then now all you gotta do is jump out of your truck and then now I'm just going to spawn a vehicle much more faster and I'm just gonna spawn one using menu and then now once you have got your vehicle just go to the um, dot over there okay go over here and now press X on your keyboard and now you'll automatically jump out of your car and now you'll see that there's a line attachment scene and now your car will automatically go onto your flatbed and the good thing about this mod that it will automatically attach to your flatbed so you don't have to do anything now go back inside your truck and then now once you are inside your truck all you gotta do is press shift now unfortunately again it is quite slow but it's all right because at least it is better than my last video uh, with the ramp truck so yeah uh, as you can see now that the vehicle is now stuck to the truck and I really like this mod so that's how you guys um, actually install this mod the flatbed mod and that's how you guys install the script for the flatbed so and we're back again so i hope you guys do enjoy that mod that mod is an awesome mod so like always if you do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know and i'll be more than welcome to help you out or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know first and I'll be more than welcome to help you out. So with that I said, there's more videos coming soon, so stay tuned. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So if you guys did enjoy this video or if it was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.